me help? I just don't want this to hit me in the face. This is a tiny piece of mom. And this is how our day started out as we headed out trying to find a campsite in the Ocala National Forest. And here we go again. And again. And after about 30 minutes of driving around, checking out different sites, we settle on this one to call home for the night. All right, guys, well, welcome to the Ocala National Forest. It's me, it's Ricky, my son. We're out here having a good time. We thought we had shifted into boating, uh, boating mode and we were heading into the summer with sunblock and, and you know swimsuits and that sort of thing. We got the boat out, we got it cleaned up. We've been having some fun with that. And then Mother Nature threw us one last curveball where we're getting down to 44 degrees here in Ocala tonight. So Ricky and I jumped in the truck. It's just for a one-nighter. Today's Saturday. We'll be heading back out tomorrow. And um, as you can see behind me, I got my tarp and hammock set up. This way you saw Ricky working on his tarp or we were working on it together. Tarp, hammock set up. We'll show you both of those in just a minute. But we're going to get a fire going. We have a pretty cool dinner. Let me see. I don't know if I want to say Super Bowl style or football style. But stay tuned for dinner. We are truck camping. So we got a little bit of a twist on what we're going to eat tonight. So stay tuned for that. How are you doing in there, buddy? Good. Good. We need to raise your tarp out a little bit. I see your tarp's kind of close to you. We can work on that. But ready for some dinner in a little bit? Yes, don't don't tell him what we're having. I told him it was a secret till a little bit later. All right. So here's our little. Um, driveway heading in and what we did is we just backed up in here a little bit of trash on the ground some beer cans clearly we're not the first person to have been here um, but it doesn't seem like someone's been here in a while as a matter of fact how far we went back in here um, looks pretty secluded but again we didn't originate this place for sure so just walking back here, here's our truck obviously, there you can see my hammock back there. Uh oh, there's somebody here, Who is, who's here? Sir? Excuse me sir? Oh look at him, he's trying not to smile guys. Oh he's got his mouth full. Anyway, Ricky's chilling out there on the truck, 
we are starting to get our little uh, area set up over here. We got some water, table, cooker. Tell you about that later. Um, anyway, there's my chair. That Coke box is laying out there because we're going to burn that here in a little bit. Um, some cutting tools that we use to get ourselves ready. There is my hammock back there. Uh, tripod sitting there. And then over there is Ricky's hammock and tarp. And his chair setting up over there. So we are ready to rock and roll. I think I'm going to take a few minutes and um, get the drone in the air and see what this place looks like right around us. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm gonna to start to let you in on a little bit of a hint as to what we're having for dinner. I'm getting ready to pour this stuff. This stuff. Into this. Because we're gonna need it here in a few minutes for dinner. All right, so if you haven't figured it out already for dinner, we are having hot wings. It's absolutely Ricky and I's uh, one of our favorite meals. So normally we'd have it with like French fries and stuff like that. But because of cooking arrangements, we're going to go ahead and have some hot wings. Uh, so we're going to cook these wings up in the in the cooking oil. You saw me pouring the sauce in. We're going to shake them up in that. We got some um, uh, ranch and blue cheese that we're going to dip them in. And then we're going to mix them, uh, or we're going to go ahead and eat that with some mashed potatoes. That's kind of our uh, shortcut instead of some french fries, but buffalo wings for dinner tonight.
see down on the side. Let me see, is it getting good? Oh yeah, it's gonna be good, Wayne. All right, guys, we are about to have hot wings and mashed potatoes out here in the middle of the Ocala National Forest. So, as always, before every meal, don't forget to say your prayer. Oh, got to redo that one. And as always, before every meal, don't forget to say your prayers. And listen to that bird in the background. Maybe he knows we're eating a bird for dinner and he's upset, you think? I think so. I don't know. But anyway, we're still going to eat our chicken wings. Talk to you guys soon. Hard to balance all those, huh? Not for me. Not for you. All right, guys. Well, we had a fantastic dinner. We really enjoyed today. Got a little bit of a late start today. Um, one of the things I didn't tell you that you saw some of on the way in is us. We had to cut down a lot of trees. I shouldn't say cut down trees trees falling in front of the road and you know blocking the road we had to cut a lot of those up just to get past um so we spent a lot of time doing that today and we got here a little later than we thought we weren't even sure where we were coming but we got out here we got set up as you saw we had a really nice dinner we're having a good time together today uh just father and son camping trip probably our last camping or our last hammock camping trip you know we'll do rv camping and stuff like that as it gets warmer um, but probably our last one until maybe September, October, November. So I know we keep saying that and then Mother Nature throws us some cold air back. But we're having a great time. We appreciate you guys watching. But for tonight, we're going to say good night and we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning and welcome to day two out here in the Ocala National Forest. It got down in the very low 40s. I want to say it was about 43 degrees last night. Um, we actually both, Ricky and I, both got a little cold. Um, mostly because our feet got cold. Once our feet got cold, then we were just a little uncomfortable from that point forward. I actually got up and about six in the morning, got to put on a second pair of socks. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you can see our, our breath, um, from the coldness. So we got a, uh, kettle on. Ricky's going to have some hot chocolate. I'm going to get some coffee. We're going to get us warmed up. As you guys probably can guess what I'm going to have for breakfast, we're going to have a good old fashioned pop tart breakfast and, um, and then we'll, you know, walk around a little bit. We put a game camera out to see if there's anything came in our camp. I don't see any tracks or footprints, but we always like to put that out just in case we'll go out to the road, see if there's any tracks, you know, just to see if there's anything nearby us while we were sleeping. That's always kind of fun to know. And then we'll pack up and get on the road and call it a day. But uh, thanks for joining us this morning. It's uh, beautiful. There's not a cloud in the sky. The birds are out and we're enjoying the Ocala National Forest. but it can't be that old.
Okay, so we're out here on a walk and we got what looks like dog tracks right here. We also saw them what looks like they're going into our camp. We haven't checked our game cam yet. So uh, let me show you what these dog tracks look like. They look like um, big enough to be probably about a coyote. Um, the one going into our camp looked a little bigger. I don't know if, um, you know, they would have smelt any smoldering from the fire or anything and, um, you know, turned around, but he was up there approaching the truck and right behind the truck, if he would have stepped out behind the truck, we should have got, got him on camera. So I'm eager to go see what that looks like, but here's what these tracks look like. We know they're fresh because we saw this truck go by us and they're on top of these truck tracks. So there's several tracks like this leading all the way up. And this is away from our camp. So this is, it's like he was walking down the road and checked into our camp. Saw what was going on there or what wasn't going on there and then left. And then it looks like they go up here and he starts to make a left hand turn. Here they are again. I don't know if you can see that in the light. There's kind of two of them stepped on top of each other, but you can see the claws. And then he heads out this way through the sand. There's another one. And then he heads up, or she, heads up into the woods. Our camp is probably a hundred yards that way. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode with the Outdoors with Rich. Thank you so much for, for watching. Um, Ricky and I had a good time. We are all tore down. We're ready to flip up the tailgate and get on the road. I may grab some more drone footage on the way out. We'll see. Um, but we got the fire put out. We got everything packed up. All we got to do is get in the truck and drive that way. We had a really good time. A um, couple unique things about this trip, as I've already mentioned, is all the trees we kind of had to cut. I don't know if there was a recent storm, but we had to cut a lot of trees. I would say we probably, how many trees do you think we had to stop the truck, get out, and cut? I would say like four or five. Four or five. And some of them, I mean, some of them were so big. Well, you, I think we got a video of a couple of them. We literally had to put a strap on the truck and pull them. And so Ricky was suggesting, um, you know, next time maybe bring a chainsaw. Not so much for going into camp and cutting trees down or something like that, but just to have it for a safety thing. You get all the way, way down these trails that we've been on for 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden there's a tree crossing the road. They're usually too tight to turn around. But anyway, that was one thing. And then um, we had the dog tracks coming into camp. I thought for sure I was going to get a coyote or something on the camera, but nothing there. Um, Ricky was noticing out behind his uh, tarp area, just like this congested area where all the trees looked like they were snapped you know not cut by any means but just snapped almost like if it were bigger I would think like a little tornado might have touched it at some point but it was just too concentrated I know they can hit a finite area and skip to the next but this was this was too tight so that was kind of interesting 
Um, we had a really good dinner. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, our favorite meal, you know, with within without getting into fancy seafood or something like that. But our favorite basic meal is just buffalo wings, hot wings. So I thought it'd be cool to come out here and make that meal. Um, you know, being that we had the truck and we could bring the cooker and the propane. So that was pretty cool. But um, anyway, uh, what was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part was probably like sitting around the fire or going on a walk. Yeah, going on a walk, well, of course, always sitting around the fire, you get to tell stories and catch up, and life is fast. We can talk about school and work and any of that kind of stuff or where we're going on our next adventure. Um, but, yeah, Ricky was having some fun out there on the road, taking some pictures of uh, the four-wheeler tracks going by or just off in the distance. So maybe I'll take a couple of his favorite pictures and put them in this video and just, just tag him that he, um, that he took those pictures. Um, so... I do believe this time the cold fronts are over, at least what we call cold fronts here in Florida, and we will be pivoting into boating season, some RV stuff coming up. Um, Jen and I have a trip to Bimini in the Bahamas coming up, which we're, I'm gonna do a video of. That'll be, that's not until um, you know mid to late May, you'll see that video. So um, anyway, we really appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is a family channel. We're at about 630, 635 subscribers. So even if it's not your thing, if you'll do me a big favor and subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, make a comment, maybe talk about what you'd like to see us do in the future. Maybe there's some places where you hammock camp around Florida that maybe we'd like to know. We'd just love to have that back and forth dialogue with you. Um, and anyway, I guess with that said, we're going to head out and get back to the Tampa Bay area and we will see you where will we see them in the next adventure on the next adventure which is probably going to be on the water on the water so thank you guys so much for watching god bless you take care we well, gotta do that again and let's do it do it at the same time watch ready go see you guys <laughs>